Hello, this is Josh Robb and Austin Wilson from Hicks and Zerker Capital Management bringing you the December market update where we look back at November and talk about some of the things that happened in the market and some other news around the world. Absolutely. So, first up, talking about oil. Oil. A barrel of West Texas Intermediate Oil fell in price from $84 a barrel at the beginning of November, of November all the way down to 66 by the end of the month. Wow. So that's a 21% drop that's in the price drop. of oil. That would technically be a bear market for oil. That would be a bear market for oil. So this caused energy stocks to drop more than the overall market, and the energy sector spider was down nearly 7%. Wow. Crazy. And other news, the other liquid gold. Other liquid uh, gold. There's a shortage as well up in north of us, our neighbors up there north, Canada. Canada. Yes. The they're, great next state of America. Apparently. Their maple syrup, though, they have a shortage this year. Really? Yes. Uh, so Quebec maple, maple syrup, syrup producers. That's hard to say, by the maple way. Maple syrup producers. Yes. They announced so they that they're going to release, because they, you know how we have in the U.S. an oil reserve we that do. we tap into? They have a maple syrup reserve. They have a maple syrup oh, reserve, and they're releasing 50 million pounds of their strategic okay, reserve. Okay, time out. Time yeah. Out. That's about they half their They measure... Pile. Syrup in pounds? In pounds. Liquid pounds. Why don't... What is a liquid pound? I don't know. Okay. That's interesting metric. But Gosh. half their reserve. Half all right? their reserve. Now, Quebec, they produce 70% of the world's maple syrup supply. And how it works is, surprisingly, demand jumped 21%, which is the same amount that oil fell. I don't know if there's a correlation there. <laughs> but 21%. And they also had a shorter season to harvest gotcha. it because they have to do it by weather for those tapping of the trees. So those two together made a big impact, and so they used half of their strategic reserve. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. So that could flood the market with cheap maple that's right. syrup. That's right. Which no, will bring not cheap. Maple it's good. Syrup I mean, it's good down. maple syrup. Right, but it'll because of Price supply price. and demand yes. coming down. Okay, number two stock market performance for the month of November. Not so great. No. A little bit under pressure. S&P 500 was down 0.69%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 3.5%. NASDAQ was up only 0.33%. And uh, yeah, barely up. Small caps fared even worse yet, down 4.17%. Developed international emerging market stocks also down quite a bit more at 4.8 and 4.07% respectively. So not a great month for stocks. No. In other news over in Egypt, there was a pretty vicious storm that blew through earlier um, this last month. Rain, dust storms, even snow in some parts snow of Egypt. Snow in Egypt, yes. Okay. Don't but think about surprisingly, that much. there's been 450 people hurt and three deaths. It's sad, but not from the weather, from scorpions. All this weather drove scorpions out of their hiding oh places, and you know, because the desert's not designed for all that weather, and into they're seeking shelter, which causes them to interact with people Scorpion. more often. Yeah. Oh so, man. I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, number three. Omicron is the latest variant of COVID-19 and has caused quite drama in the markets that we've seen as of late. It started in South Africa and has since spread to much of the world, actually. Even here in the United States, symptoms appear weaker generally than other variants of COVID, which is pretty common mm -hmm. with how viruses mutate over time. They get weaker and weaker, but really just easy to spread like a cold yes. or whatever. Like It just gets weaker and weaker and everyone's got it. You know? World record news. Because I always like to pay attention always. to this, right? So there's a new Guinness World Record mm -hmm. that's being officially certified. Uh, loudest burp, which they that's measure. a record. They measure, yes. Okay, decibels. Uh, yes, and actually he broke one. It had been held since 2009. The old record was 109 decibels. Okay. All right. This new one was 112.4. That's a loud burp. That's a loud burp, and he's been training for a little while, uh, which. You know, his family's been real excited about. Yeah, uh, his wife's real proud. As a reference point, a jackhammer, yeah. which is pretty loud, is 110. So his burp was louder than a jackhammer, or a train is 100 decibels. Wow. So that tells you how loud this burp is. So I am an avid motorcycle rider. Yes. And I know Motorcycles that, are loud. legally speaking, to ride on public land or XYZ, there are decibel requirements, mm -hmm. and they are like in the 90s. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is louder so this than is, that. Louder, it, it's, loud... it was listed louder than a motorcycle, but I didn't know is that you know the Harley has its own sound, like what oh, yeah. type of motorcycle, but it's loud. Yeah. It's a loud burp. Number four, according to the American Farm Bureau, you already know this. Yes. The average Thanksgiving feast for a family of 10 
cost $53.31 this year, okay. which is up 14% compared to 2020, which was actually down 4% compared to 2019 because of the pandemic. Yep. Um, but Turkey was the biggest driver of that cost increase. Turkey was up 21% oh, per man. pound. That's a lot. And part of the reason for that is that um, due to labor shortages, a lot of turkey farms yep. were forced to let their turkeys grow bigger and bigger instead of harvesting them because they mm-hmm. did not have the people to do that. So they were feeding these turkeys, and the turkeys got fatter and fatter. So, yes. so more feed means more overhead costs, exactly. meaning more costs. And the labor consumer. that they did have was more expensive. Yes. So double whammy for turkey. So, you know, Airbnb, the uh, rental spot where you can get a house and, and stay there for a little while. Uh, there's a new one available. The house from Home Alone is really? available to stay at on Airbnb. I bet that's not cheap. Uh, it actually, surprisingly, didn't seem like it was crazy, but the guy hosting it is the older bu- the guy that played the older brother, Buzz, oh, yeah. in the original movie. Um, the stay includes holiday decorations, booby traps inspired by the movie, uh, and you also get uh, a candlelit dinner of microwave- microwavable Kraft macaroni and cheese, just like in the movie. <laughs> uh, they just released a new movie um, that is kind of a continuation um, and so you can screen that there, and then they also have a Home Alone Lego set that's part of this okay. whole package. So do pretty get, exciting. Do you get some free aftershave? I, that'd be nice. Uh, but you know, if that's a, your favorite Christmas movie and you want to spend some time there, it's it is available in New York. I think it's Chicago. Oh, because see, okay, the second movie gets stuck in New York. That's what it is. Okay, you're right. right. So I, don't, I think it's Chicago area. That I'm makes sense. Fifth and final news from me: Jack Dorsey, CEO of both Twitter and Square. Stepped down as Twitter CEO, effective immediately on 11.29. He now seeks to focus more on Bitcoin and blockchain technology at Square, which on December 1st announced that it would be changing its name to Block. Like everybody else is, right? Everyone's Facebook's changing names. Going in. Everybody's yep. changing So if you want to be a publicly traded company and change your direction, change, change your name. Change your name. It's everybody great. Everybody will be all excited. And finally, down in Chile. Chile? Chile? Is it cold down there? I don't know. Uh, they found a new dinosaur fossil. I saw yes. that. Did you see that? It's tail, which it's not new. You know, the stegosaurus has the spikes and all the, there's all the different types. This one has a slashing tail. So it has multiple more blade-like uh, pieces on the end of it. Um, they, they announced it. It could be about six feet, two meters, if you're on the metric system uh, in not? length. But it would only come up to about your, your thigh. So dog size, bigger dog size, that, that bigger stage, dog, but a dog with, with the tail, you in half. with a tail, yeah. with that attacking tail. So pretty exciting. They're always finding new things, which I always oh, yeah. think is pretty neat. My, my little diversity. brother is big into dinosaurs, so I'm going to have to pass that yeah. nugget along yes. to him. It was pretty cool. It's not a new dinosaur. A new. They just found it. A new classified Yeah, they dinosaur. just found it. Yeah. It's he's, been there for a long time. It's probably quite a while, <laughs> uh, if, he's, if he's a fossil. Uh, so... This is Josh Rob and Austin Wilson from Hicks and Zerker Capital Management bringing you the December market update. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, if you have any questions or have any thoughts along what we discussed today, you can reach out to us at 419-425-2400. And as a reminder, everything we talked about today is not a recommendation. Please speak with your financial advisor before making a decision. Well, until next month, have a great winter. Yes, have a Merry Christmas. Bye. Josh Robb and Austin Wilson work for Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. All opinions expressed by Josh, Austin, or any guest are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. This is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for investment decisions. Clients of Hicks and Zerker Capital Management may maintain positions in the securities discussed. There is no guarantee that the statements, opinions, or forecasts provided herein will prove to be correct. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. Indices are not available for direct investment. Any investor who attempts to mimic the performance of an index would incur fees and expenses, which would reduce returns. Securities investing involves risk, including the potential for loss of principal. There is no assurance that any investment plan or strategy will be successful.